Most of the systemic infections, whether bacterial, fungal or viral, often will be manifested in the oral cavity early in the disease process. Knowledge about the oral manifestations are essential for the early diagnosis and management of the disease. In most infections, oral signs and symptoms are the first to appear before the systemic symptoms. In this video, we are going to see the evidences which are available at present regarding COVID-19 and its oral manifestations. I am Dr. Benin and if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I will make videos that will be useful for dental students and clinicians every week. The most common systemic symptoms manifested in COVID-19 infections are fever, dry cough, tiredness, sore throat, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, headache. And some serious symptoms include difficulty in breathing or shortness of breath, chest pain, and loss of speech or movement. It has been reported that angiotensin converting enzyme 2 is the main host cell receptor of COVID-19 and plays a crucial role in the entry of virus into the cell to cause the final infection. It's been demonstrated that the ACE2 receptors are expressed on the mucosa of oral cavity. Interestingly, these receptors are highly enriched in epithelial cells of tongue. These findings indicate that the mucosa of oral cavity may be potentially a high-risk route of COVID-19 infection and oral mucosa could be the first place to exhibit the early symptoms of COVID-19 infection. Different reports are being published recently to shed light that the oral manifestations could occur before the systemic manifestations. Loss of smell has been attributed to COVID-19 infection. It has been observed that in in a report by Lancet that anosmia or loss of smell manifest either early in the disease process or in patients with mild or no constitutional symptoms. Although coronavirus affects the respiratory tract, it also has more affinity towards nerves. The loss of smell is because of the virus affect olfactory nerve, the cranial nerve which is responsible for carrying the smell sensation. The loss of smell is often associated with dyskusia or loss of taste. So a dentist receiving a complaint of recent loss of taste sensation from a patient should pay more attention for the complaint, should take a thorough history, complete examination and probably referral to a general physician or a blood test to rule out COVID-19 infection. Cutaneous lesions like areas of erythema with vesicles pustules, other vesicular eruptions, urticarial lesions, etc. have been described and reported by dermatologists. But still now, oral lesions have not yet been described with a proven COVID-19 infection. A recent article in Journal of Oral Medicine and Oral Surgery has reported a patient with an irregular ulcer on the dorsal side of the tongue. Upon looking into the history of this ulcer, there was a painful inflammation of the tongue papilla, which was followed by 24 hours of erythematous macula, which evolved into irregular and asymptomatic ulcer. So in short, there was a painful inflammation in the tongue for a day, followed by development of asymptomatic ulcer. At third day, after occurrence of oral lesion, an erythematous lesion appeared on the big toe of the same patient. It was also painful for first two days and then became asymptomatic. After 10 days, the ulcer in the tongue completely healed without scar. In a suspicion, the patient was tested for COVID-19 and she was found to be positive. Based on this report, it could be considered that occurrence of ulcer in the oral cavity especially in the dorsum of the tongue, could be correlated to COVID-19, although must be correlated with history and systemic symptoms. Coronavirus is said to be showing more affinity for the oral mucosa, especially the follicles and taste buds. In mild to moderate cases of COVID-19, dry mouth and urge to drink more water has been reported. This could be related to dehydration of the patient, which is secondary to systemic symptoms. Infections of the salivary glands occurs very early in the disease process. Unlike other viral infections, viral load in salivary gland and saliva is found to be very high and this can happen even before the onset of any symptoms. Pain, 
swelling or other symptoms associated with salivary gland are yet to be clarified as a dentist in a patient we should look for loss of taste sensation ulcer in tongue painful inflammatory lesions in oral cavity dryness of mouth excessive urge to drink water and problems associated with salivary gland it will take time to find out all the signs and symptoms which are manifested in the oral cavity during covid-19 infections but what is proven so far without doubt is saliva carries high concentration of coronavirus and it can definitely act as a medium of infection so being careful and following all the necessary protection protocols is the best way to protect ourselves and our patients So this is an initial report and I will update with more details as soon as they are available. Thank you for watching.